cheap games, Xbox Live, and PSN codes, check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back today to a Minecraft update video. In today's video, I have two bits of information on two different subjects in regards to Minecraft. The first information I have for you in today's video is actually about Minecon 2016. The other day, we've now had the announcement of when it's gonna be and where it's going to be. I've had a lot of questions as well from you guys saying, Echo, are you gonna be at Minecon? I am hoping to, my fingers are crossed. Now, if you don't know where it is, they have announced that Minecon 2016 is going to be back in America. It's gonna be in California, Anaheim, on September 24th, 25th, which I actually didn't expect it to be this late in the year. Um, normally they do Minecon around about June, July, August time. I did go to the last one, which was 2015, which was in fact in London. It was July, it was like early July, I believe, um, or mid July, and it was absolutely amazing. I met so many of you guys, and it was really, really awesome. So hopefully I'll be there. Hopefully you guys will be there. Hopefully we can take loads of pictures and yeah. The second part in today's video is also really interesting. Now as you guys should know, we've just had the 1.9 update, which was pretty interesting to say the least for Minecraft PC. The question is, what is next for Minecraft? Well, it seems the developers over at Mojang aren't starting with 1.9, they're not waiting around, and they're already working on the next update for Minecraft PC. This question was asked towards Jeb, saying, hey Mr. Jeb, how are you? Great work with 1.9 update and great work with Colbo. Any intentions on what's next or what's planned for 1.10? Question mark with a winky face. And Jeb did respond saying, started working on a new mod today with a winky face. Now we've literally only just had Minecraft 1.9. Now obviously 1.10 is gonna be miles and miles away. I think the intention here is because we waited such a long time for 1.9. It was like a year and a half, nearly two years for an update for Minecraft PC, which was an extremely long time. I think they wanna try and bring the life back into Minecraft because things have started to slow down a little bit. This will be Microsoft pushing the game a little bit more and I'm really interested in what mob this is going to be. Jeb then ahead, went ahead and tweeted this saying, rumor has it, I'm working on a new mob. Here's a hint, probably neutral and base text color is Brackets 242 comma 242 comma 242 comma. So I decided to do a little bit of research on what color is this. Now this is the specific color. It is very light, but I think it's like a light grayish. Now what I want to see from you guys is what type of mob do you think this is going to be? So Jeb did say it's neutral based. This does not mean it's going to be friendly. It doesn't mean that it is friendly, but it also can be hostile. Very similar to an Enderman, very similar to a zombie pigman. Now, after thinking about this, I decided to sit there and wonder what type of mob could they be working on for Minecraft PC? Now, what type of area in Minecraft does need a mob? I've kind of come to the conclusion that I have a few of them in mind. I have a polar bear, because I think like the ice spikes and the snow biomes are very plain and boring. I think a polar bear would bring things to life, although this could be aggressive. It could only be aggressive if you like, I don't know, if it notices you. And I think a polar bear would be a great addition. There are mods out there where there's polar bears in Minecraft. I, I mean, if you think of any type of animal in, my, in, in real life, I'm pretty sure it's been added to Minecraft as a mob, whether it be an elephant, whether it be a crocodile, uh, whether it be a zebra, whether it be sharks, dolphins, you name it, it's probably been added to Minecraft as a mod. I was also thinking about penguins. I think penguins would be a great addition, but then again, penguins wouldn't really attack you. I mean, they probably would if you started to beat on it, um, but I, I just don't think too much of a penguin would be a great addition in Minecraft. I'm trying to think what mob would bring the game to life. The next one, which I actually decided could be a Yeti. This means that it's not really an animal, it's more of like, I don't know, it's kind of just like something special that could be added to the game. And I think a massive Yeti would be so much fun in the game. Um, other ideas were such as werewolves, maybe some type of birds. I kind of feel like one thing we are missing in Minecraft is a neutral mob that flies in the daytime. I think there is more negative mobs than positive mobs. I know we've got cows, chickens, pigs and stuff, but they've been in the game for such a long time. I think birds in the daytime would be very useful. We do have like the neutral mob being a bat in, in caves, but I think above ground would be something very positive as well. Or 
Maybe in the water it could be something like dolphins. I mean, we do have the Guardian, so the likelihood of getting a new underwater hostile slash neutral mob would be very slim. And how would the Guardian and the dolphins combine against each other? I don't know, there is literally endless possibilities. You could sit there and run your mind over and over and over again and think, what is Jeb working on? I'm very interested to see though, the official first picture that he will show us. I don't think it's gonna be coming anytime soon, but I thought this video was definitely worth posting. Guys, leave your comments down below. What would you like to see? My idea is polar bear, penguin, yeti, werewolf, birds, maybe a dolphin. There's endless possibilities. Take care, stay beautiful, and as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.